instrument of the victims. Number five, the measures the ministry is taking to ensure that the school going children, especially the KCP and KCSE candidates, are not adversely affected by the proposed evictions. Number six, provide details of the areas, the area in hectares of the forests that have so far been restored after the phase one and uh, after the phase one evictions and the budget expended for that exercise. And lastly, last but not the least, you provide the details of the measures that the minister has put in place in regard to the post-eviction conservation works, vis-a-vis -vis the budgetary provisions, personnel, corporate social responsibility, and other logistical arrangements. Those are some of the issues which we, we, we are seeking from you. But arising out of the discussion, members will be able to ask other subs uh, subsequent uh, supplementary questions. But at the same time, this committee is extremely very keen to know. I remember we had a sitting with you earlier. You took us through the historical perspective of the encroachment of Mau. But you're also very keen to get the list of the, the persons who are responsible for expanding or encroaching into the forest. Because initially, especially in Masai Mount block, we have the issues, uh, we had the group branches, the boundaries were very clear, but when the survey was being done, that's the time now the encroachment started. So we are very keen to get the list, uh, if you have it, or the people who are responsible behind the encroachment or Mau, and what the government have been doing, because we have so many tax forces which has undertaken these exercise, exercises of, in terms of conservation, what has the government done in terms of prosecution of the people who are responsible for the encroachment or Mau? So, Pana Cabinet Secretary, at this juncture, I want to invite you so that you can be able to respond to those uh, issues as raised in our letter. Thank you very much, uh, Chairman and Honorable Members. As Chairman, you have already uh, alluded to, I actually appeared before this committee last year, specifically the 13th of August. I think a year now. And in your invitation, dated the 24th of July, 2018, one of the issues that I was required to address you upon was, and I quote, the details of evictions happening at the Mao Forest Complex, the rationale, the background, the strategy of conservation of the complex in a foreseeable future, and thirdly, or secondly, the status of restoration of the reclaimed land from the forest. You will note that that or those issues are not dissimilar from uh, the issues to be discussed and confessed today. I appeared before this committee as presently constituted, and I addressed the committee in great length uh, for hours. I table before this committee a report uh, that runs into runs into how many pages? Several pages actually, actually this is it. as well as a summarized uh, and a bridge version of that report, as well as 
a total of 18 annexes, which are here. I would want to believe, because in that report that I presented here, a lot of the issues that, Chairman, you have uh, summarized in your current invitation are really addressed in that report. So from time to time, uh, I'll be referring to that report, as I shall also be referring to the annex just to that report, which I have no doubt at all, knowing this committee and the energy and tenacity of the members of this report, that they have fully read and appreciated uh, that, uh, the contents of those documents. Now, coming to the present invitation, uh, we have circulated a much shorter response this time, uh, addressing the specific questions and also the annexures. Now, why, why are we here as a country? How did we come about here? Why is it so important? Because we are dealing with one of the most critical, I mean critical, water towers in this country. We are dealing with a vital ecological asset. We're dealing with a source of several rivers. They are all set out in the report, and I'm sure you members and chair are already familiar about. A source of several rivers, including the tributaries that feed into and form the Mara River Basin. Ewasoniro, Sikinter, and others. We are dealing with an ecosystem that is a hotspot on biodiversity. It has unique fauna and flora, some of them endemic. We are dealing with an asset, an ecological asset that sustains life, not just for the residents of the county of Narok, where it is situated, <laughs> Kajado, the iconic Masai Mara. Uh, that has recently been categorized as the eighth wonder of the world depends wholly on the Mara River Basin. There cannot be Masai Mara without the Mara River. And there cannot be, and I would challenge anyone who has evidence to the contrary, there cannot be a Mara River without the Masai Mao forest complex. But it goes beyond Kenya. And as a result of the destruction of this ecosystem, the consequences are only too obvious. 
Marariva is on its deathbed. Supplies water to the Mara Serengeti. Supplies water to Lake Natron. Five percent of water into Lake Victoria. And of course, from there, the Nile is from the Mara River Basin. Five percent. It's not just for human beings. Livestock, but also importantly, wildlife. Kenya has entered into regional and global treaty obligations relevant to this subject. In 2015, we signed an MOU with Tanzania for the conservation protection of the Mara River Basin, which sustains directly 1.5 million As we speak now, Chairman, on the 15th of September, that is in the next few days, we will be celebrating what they, we call, and we have celebrated since 2012, the Mara Day. We have celebrated it last year in Bomet, the other years in Narok, the other year. And for this year, celebrating it in Tanzania, a place called Mugumo, next to a swamp that from there drains into Le Vittoria. Because of the destruction of the Mao, the Maasai Mao, the quantity and quality of water that sustains life diminished seriously it is our responsibility under that treaty obligation to protect the catchment of this river we will be participating in a celebration and we will be heard, uh, heard prayers to explain why, how. I'm raising this chairman and honorable members so that we can remove this myopic way of looking at this huge issue as if it is an issue between tribes, as if it is an issue to do with politics, and political formations, and political calculation. It is not. It is also a gazetted water tower. And I'm sure we will be engaging in this discussion about trust land forest. Others call it settlement schemes. We will be addressing that in the course of these deliberations. So what happened? 
in its original pristine stage, state. The Masai Mara, the Masai Mao. Water tower. Measured about 46,000 hectares in its original state. It was one of the 22 blocks forming the Mao forest complex. Then, what happened? Five group ranches are joining. That list why is there. Five group ranches Five group branches. I'll, I'll, I'll give. I'll, I'll, I'll submit shortly. Then. Five group ranches, sorry, Chairman, I think we have uh, wrong. So, looks like some. Five group ranches are joining uh, the Mao Forest. Well, the following. And, and we will present in the documents, I think, one of our officers. We had a group, a group ranch called Sisian Group Ranch, which, when it was created and registered and title issued, measured 444 hectares. 444 hectares. At the time when it was being dissolved, so title, it is registered, it has its uh, officials, it has its title with um, acreage of 444 hectares. Did you make copies? Yes. Can you distribute? Give me distribute the copies. Now, when when it was dissolved and individualized through brazen act of criminality, fraud, that area was extended or ballooned from 444 to 1,215 hectares, creating an additional area of, yes. yes I, Leader. Yeah, Chair, I did not want to interrupt our CS. Um, uh, Chair, uh, the CS, has um, uh, uh, given us uh, a brief of what is uh, taking us through. I just wanted to... Kiriako Tobiko, the Environment Cabinet Secretary appearing before the Parliamentary Environmental Departmental Committee when it comes to that Mao eviction row, so far maintaining that there is need to conf uh, serve that uh, forest for the sake of uh, several rivers like the Mara River, which it's upon its death as we speak right now. So